Today we're talking about a vehicle's VIN number or vehicle identification number. Uh, if you were just glancing on a window sticker, you might see this 17 number letter combination uh, and think it really doesn't mean anything, but there is some significance to those letters and numbers. And I'm gonna touch on a few of those. Um, and then when you're walking around parking lots, you can impress your friends. Uh, let's start with the first. This particular model is a number one. And I know that that first character is gonna designate the country of origin. A one, four, and five are the United States. Uh, a J is for Japan, W for Germany. Those are just some really common ones uh, with Ford, Chevys, you know, one, four, fives are common. Uh, if you've got a Toyota, a Subaru, a Nissan, you're gonna probably see a J as the first. Uh, and then W is probably gonna sign signify a BMW or an Audi. The next letter, uh, shows the manufacturer make so on this window sticker we have a G and that would signify that this vehicle is made by General Motors uh, and F would mean Ford and most manufacturers have a pretty common uh, first letter is that code uh, the next letter is going to be the type but that's a lot more difficult to distinguish so let's move to the very end of this VIN number the last six digits are the serial number uh, and that's really the, the difference um, if you have two vehicles that are basically the same, this is going to be what's different. Um, if they're made in the same plant, you'll see that the letter to the left of that serial number is going to designate uh, what plant it was built in. So on this model, we'll see that that's a Z, uh, and I'm going to guess that's going to be made in Spring Hill, Tennessee. And that helped me figure it out. Uh, and then finally, one of the most common and uh, most useful uh, parts of a VIN uh, is going to tell you what year model the vehicle is. Um, we'll start at 2001 because that's going to be kind of the oldest cars you'll probably see on the road. Uh, but 2001 through 2009 followed a really easy pattern, uh, one to one. So if it was a 2000 model, you would see a one here. If it was a 2009 model, you'd see a nine there. Uh, but, as you would guess, in 2010, they ran out of digits, uh, and so they started with A's, and for the next 26 years, we'll have letters. Um, so, in 2010, you have A, and tracking that all the way to 2010, or 2020, you'll have L's. So, as you can see on this one, the letter L for a 2020 Cadillac XT6. I hope this was useful. Uh, leave some comments if I told you something you didn't know.